Hey, hi, how you doing guys? It's Jordy. I'm back after one week like I promised. So this week is going to be a video all about me. Basically, just answering questions about myself. Yeah, so here it goes. I am 18 years, wait. I am 19 years old. Wait. I was born in 96. Yes, I'm 19 years old and I work at Starbucks. I really do love working at Starbucks. They are very accepting. Yeah, believe it or not, I used to work at McDonald's for three years. Three whole years that were the worst years of my life. Actually, you know what? I When I first started working at McDonald's, I really liked it because it was my first job. Yeah. I was born in Maryland and I moved to California uh, when I was really young, so I don't remember. Oh yeah, that's another thing I can add on to my questions. I have one older brother and he is like 22, I think, maybe? Somewhere around there, I'm not good with ages. He remembers coming to America. I guess we drove here in a car. I was raised in Bakersfield, California. Yeah, um, that was fun living in the ghetto most of my life. I did live in some really harsh neighborhoods. Um, but hey, it moved me who I, made, me, made me who I am today, so I can't complain. I live in San Diego now, like I said in my last video. Best experience of my life. Definitely San Diego is on the top. Like, this is Bakersfield, this is San Diego. Like way different. So ever since I was young, I loved to play with Barbies and I'm not sure why, like whether it was like Barbie brand, Bratz, like Polly Pocket, all of that stuff was like my jam until I was like 17 years old, just kidding. Until I was like nine years old, I liked doing it and I didn't care what people said. I really don't care what people say or what they thought at the time, like I, I just did it. It was weird though, like my parents always kind of like realized something was strange or different about me because my brother really liked playing with like army men and guns and like all this stuff like he was really into sports and I was just more of like an indoorsy kid and well I I don't mind like going outside into like getting down and dirty like I don't mind like playing sports but sports are fun I'm just not like really into the contact the contact is really like nerve-wracking I was in Cub Scouts for about three years before I got kicked out and that's another story yeah def another story because, uh-uh. Ever since I was little, again, I, it's always been easier for me to talk to girls and make friends with girls rather than with boys. Kind of like connected more with them and bonded more with them. And I mean, I've had guy friends in the past. Like my best friend for like six years was a guy until like we kind of just like split up and uh, like went our own way. But um, other than that, like, it's just been so much easier for me to talk to girls. And I, I mean, it still continues to this day. With that said, I have never, ever, ever had sex. I have never kissed anybody. And I've only been on one date before. And honestly, like, I'm proud to say that because not many people can. It's just, I'm kind of going with the flow. And as it happens, it'll happen. The time will come. And yeah, it'll happen eventually. One day or another, maybe, possibly, I don't know. People kind of scare me sometimes. You never know nowadays. Next question. I don't know if these are questions or just like details that I'm giving about myself, but um, yeah, like nobody asked me these. I just decided to like tell you because I thought you guys might be interested. I don't know. Possibly could be something. I don't know. Next question. Next statement. Next detail about me. There we go. Next detail about me that I would like to share with you guys. So, um, my favorite artist has always been, and, well, this is a hard one, actually. I have two, three, four, five. Shoot. I have a lot of artists, and again, like, tying along the lines of, like, characteristics between me and my brother, I always listen to female artists more prominently than male artists. I'm not sure why. Like, I have my femme fatales, like, uh, Britney Spears, Nicki Minaj, Beyonce, Ariana Grande, uh, Kesha, Lady Gaga, all these people, Madonna, um... And I can just name those off the bat, sing a lot of the lyrics, like with the, like the music that's playing or whatever. I can name the songs like as soon as I start hearing them on the radio. It's just been a thing that's like, oh, Rihanna, like she's a big one too. Um, it's just been a thing that has always like appealed to me is like the music that they, uh, the content that they produce. It's just been a really big thing for me. Um, and with my brother, like he's always like rap and stuff. I'm like, hey, I don't mind rap. It's like, I can listen to it and I really don't mind it, but it's not my preference. Just like country and all that other music. Yeah. So therefore, yes. Thank you. Okay, bye. Um. Anywho, my like top three, I would say, are definitely Ariana Grande. 
she's my number one, she's my queen, she's my lover, she's my everything and always will be. And then number two is Britney Spears. And my third but not least is definitely Kesha. Like her song Cannibal really, really touched me. Like touched me so much. Like so, so much. Um, like that music just kills it, bro. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? My favorite color. That's another thing, um, is my favorite color is neon. I know it's not really a color, but neon colors kind of catch my eye more. Um, I mean, like they do anybody, but like orange, vibrant yellow, like green, purple, blue, all of those colors, pink, they are all like really uh, vibrant and I really do like those colors a lot. Out of the neon color spectrum, uh, orange is definitely my number one favorite. I do like orange a lot because orange, did you know that orange does rhyme with something? It rhymes with range. It doesn't sound the same, but they have the exact same letters at the end, just like lame and fame. Just like frame and game. They all end with the same thing. Orange and range, they end with the same thing. So, in my book, they rhyme. Orange has a rhyme. Nobody believes me, but hey, I don't care. That's what I think, and that's what goes for me. Okay, well, <laughs> with that said, this is now the end of the video. I have been very honest, and I have had a lot of fun filming this one. Um, so therefore, yes, thank you. Okay, peace out, chicken nuggets. I will see you next week. Bye.